Okay, guys. Um, trying to beat some of the technical issues I had on my last video. Uh, my light source is... I'm not situated in the same spot that I normally am. Um, I'm actually in the same spot I was on my last video. So this is easier for me to, to, to do it here and do a video. I've zoomed in on this and I'm trying to maintain things in focus. But enough about my technical stuff. You came here, you came here to look at World of Warcraft uh, cards. Um, or instruction. Now I'm going to do something a little bit differently today. Um, I'm going to let you know about three new products that just came out in the last two weeks, I believe. Two to three weeks. Um, they're basically, I've had questions of how, how can you play this game with more than two people. Uh, there is a way you can play this game with more than two people. You can play in teams of, of two, three, four, five each. Uh, you can have parties going against each other as long as you all sit around a table and alternate people from the team. Uh, you can play that way. Another play way of playing teams or groups of people instead of just two is doing raid decks. Raid decks were introduced quite some time ago. I believe there's five raids out right now. Uh, six raids out right now. Uh, I can't name them right now. Um, the names escape me. I'm still looking into getting... <coughs> excuse me. I'm still looking into getting raid decks. And then there's these. These are the new product that came out two or three weeks ago. Now, what these are, these are... I'm not going to call these raid decks. These are actually, as the, the description on the box specifies, these are dungeon decks. I do not know a lot about these. I only know, uh, I, I do know a little, but I don't know a lot about these yet. My understanding is that these three decks, that which consist of 60, 60 cards per deck, um, allow three players to play a dungeon without the need of having someone play a boss character. Now, what I mean by boss character is, let's go back to the raid decks. Uh, the previous six raid decks required four players and a boss character, and that boss character would play the play the, the raid. He would be the, the, the thing that all the other four characters have to beat. Uh, this format here, though, is not the case. Uh, the three players that play will be playing against the deck. There is no need for a boss in with when you're using one of these. Now my understanding also is that these were designed to use the starter decks. And uh, the only way I can I can justify that is by saying that these, without even opening them, are not uh, very difficult games to play. Um, so if you build your own decks, um, if all three characters build their own decks and they have to be half decent decks, um, you'll have a fun time. Uh, you might not necessarily have a very challenging experience. Uh, these are designed to, to play with starter decks, three starter decks. So what I'm going to do is I am going to open them. Oh, before I get into that, these decks are, 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 are fashioned after what I'm told is the three most popular dungeons in the MMO World of Warcraft video game. We have the... Sorry for the glare here. I haven't taken the cellophane off yet. We have the Scarlet Monastery. I do remember doing that one. The Dead Mines. I don't remember doing that one, but I'm sure I did. And Shadow Fang Keep, I'm also pretty sure I did. I have a level 85 character, so I, at some point I must have done these. Um, so we're going to bust open one of these and see what's inside. And, well, let's put these two aside to start with. And we will now open the Shadow Fang. Just, uh, sorry, let's see if I... It will not focus with the cellophane on. Focus. Okay, there you go. This the uh, Scarlet Monastery Dungeon Deck, 60 game cards per pack, or sorry, per per deck. So we're gonna open this uh, this up, see what we have in here. So far, as of late, all I've actually seen is people uh, breaking open the treasure packs that uh, you can get with these particular cards. Um, so here we go. Well, let's let's just. Uh, 
open it up, see what's in here. Uh, again, I've never seen these before. I've never seen them on. I have mail. Never seen them online. Okay, so you get, for starters, the Dungeon Dex character sheet. What this is yet, I don't know. Uh, you should you should get three of these in. I would suggest probably laminating these because these look like something that you would uh, you would need in the game. So uh, laminate these puppies and then you can uh, reuse them so you don't go drawing all, all over them. Or better yet, photocopy them, keep a digital copy, scan it, keep a digital copy so you can print at a later, reprint a new one at a later date. And I believe, if I'm not mistaken, they give you one, two, uh, one, two, three, four. Actually, they get, give you quite of these. Five. They give you, they give you five of them. See, so basically, you get five of the character sheets to start with. Okay, trying to keep this so it looks halfway, halfway decent. Then, then what do you get? Well, you get the dungeon deck rule book, and that's the dungeon deck rule book. Now we're gonna just quickly flip, leaf, leaf through this. It's not very extensive. It's only like six pages. So um, yeah, we're gonna have to give that a read. I intend to actually give my review of this game after I am able to either play a game or extensively read the the super difficult rule book that it has here. I would imagine if you've got some experience playing the regular game, this game shouldn't be too difficult. So there you go. Now you have in here the official rule book. Uh, more cellophane goodness. Uh, this is, I guess, the dungeon hero that you're going to be playing in here. Uh, level up number 10, 5 XP. I, at this point, I don't really know what this is. I guess this is the hero that you're going to be fighting in the dungeon. And you're going to be fighting as a group. Uh, I think this is designed to... Uh, flip over cards as required so all three players can actually play. Don't know yet. Again, once I read the rules, I'll revisit this and explain how this works. So let's let's open this up and see. I mean, there's two cards in here. There's two. Come on, focus. I should just set this up for manual focus and see what happens. Okay, so you're going to get two cards in here. Um, okay, that's the same character, just different levels. You'll notice up on the top here, level one. And on level one, these are these are the stats for level one. Okay, and uh, then we flip the card over, and we have level two, as shown and indicated in the corner, but different stats or different uh, different information down here. And I think you uh, you get XP for killing this guy. Uh, the second card starts you at level three. Again, different uh, specs or stats on the card. I'm not able to get it to focus at this point because I'm moving around too much. Okay. Um, and then you flip that card over as well, and it goes to level four. Okay. Again, uh, with different stats on the card. That takes care of these cards. I'm trying to display them, these cards here. Uh, what else is in the pack? Interestingly enough, a deck of cards. Okay, uh, what's, what, one thing to notice about these cards is they have a gold border. In the past, when you bought raid decks, um, there were cards in that deck that had a gold border. The, the gold border signifies that these cards with a gold border, uh, border are not legal to play in an event because they're overpowered. Okay, for the most part, you know, overpowered. So the, the ones with the gold borders, you cannot play in any sort of tournament or sanctioned event. Uh, you cannot build your deck with these. Um, so let me uh, let me open this up. Try not to rip any of the cards because I'm, I'm I'm freaky that way. Okay. All right. So here we go. Now I'm just going to do the one because I don't want this to be a long-winded. I'll do the other two in in in, in uh, successive videos. Um, I imagine that these icons at this point without reading the rules basically mean that this is a dungeon deck. Uh, signifies here that this is a boss. Focus is lousy. It's a boss card. When you kill it, you must get uh, 2 XP. So revisiting these cards I, down, these stack cards down here, I think you can level up your character based on the XP that you acquire by killing these guys. Very interesting. 
Um, I'm kind of excited to use this. I, I, I'm actually quite excited to use this. Um, so I'm just going to briefly go through the deck. I, there's not much I can tell you about this at this point, guys, until I have a chance to look at it. I mean, the basic setup of the card seems to be the same as any of the other cards. I mean, you've got something indicating what it is up here. This one's uh, untargetable. It tells you its health points, its attack value, what type of attack it's going to be. Um, I would imagine, you know, uh, I'm a big dunge dungeon crawl fan, so this is this is really exciting for me. I like the idea that I don't have to scrape together five players to play a raid deck or anything like that. I like the fact that new players can actually play this game uh, with their starter decks and not have to think, you know, I'm going to get stomped with a starter deck if I try and do this because these are made for that. Now, uh, that's what's in that deck there. You also get these, okay? Two more foil, two more cellophane pieces of goodness. Um, let's open them up and see what's in them. Let's start with this one. Now these look like they might, these are weapons or equipment cards. And uh, I don't normally open these with a knife, but just for giggles, let's, let's kind of do that. And okay, so here, uh, I'm not impressed with this though. The cards come a little on the warped side. Again, I'm freaky about my cards and these are warped. But that's gonna happen when you have uh, foil, these are all foil cards, whoops. These are all foil cards. I don't know if you can make it out. Probably make it out really good with this one, with the eyes. I'm hoping you can. If I can, okay. Ah, there you go. That's that's awesome. I like that. Let's do it one more time. Whoops. Whoops. Oh yeah, that's really cool. Okay, so these are all basically um, foil cards. And I don't know what role these take in this particular setup as of yet, but we'll find out shortly. So that takes care of that deck. Now this little itty bitty deck that looks to have about five or six cards in it. Uh, using the knife again. Um, and I, I apologize guys for not, I wanted to do a, a, an open break for you. I cannot Ask, answer any questions with regards to this game yet because I'm or this setup yet because I don't know much about it. These are achievement cards, okay, for dungeon. Uh, okay, so if you can down but not out, have 60 or more total damage on the ratings, blah 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 blah, reward 3 XP. I would imagine the XP allows you to upgrade in some way, shape, or form. I should do this on camera in some way, shape, or form your characters. I was kind of hoping there might be like a, and there's not, the box is empty. Some sort of booster pack or something in this. Unless this was it. I mean, that must be it. That must be the booster pack. So, let me read the instructions on this. Actually, what I'll do is the next couple of videos is going to be um, opening this box and opening this box. Um, and you know, see what they have in them. Uh, I will mention the next two videos are going to be very, very similar to this one because I would imagine, aside from theme, um, the cards going to be identical. You know, uh, with with the with the fact that these are going to be related to the Shadowfine Keep instead of um, whatever this one. I just Scarlet Monastery. So, let me know how you like this video. Um, after I've done the box openings for these two, I will then do a review individually based on which one I'm looking at or potentially playing. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you have a good one. If I don't hear from you until Christmas or holiday, whatever you practice, have a great holiday. Catch you guys later.